In the last lecture, we have understood the concept of implicit type conversion. There we have understood that implicit type conversion is all about the ability of Python to convert the type of one object to another without any programmer's intervention. Now in this presentation, we will understand the concept of explicit type conversion in details. So without any further delay, let's get started and let's see the topics of this presentation one by one. The first topic is homework problem from the last lecture. So first we will see the homework problem from the last lecture as it will set the ground for understanding the explicit type conversion in details. Then we will understand explicit type conversion using INT. Now let's start with this topic that is homework problem from the last lecture. This is the homework problem from the last lecture. Here we have this problem that is determine the output of the following lines of code. Our job was to determine the output of these lines of code. And if you have run this code, you might got this error that is type error can only concatenate str not int to str. And you might be wondering why we are getting this error. Now I would like to tell you the reason why we are getting this error. For this we need to understand each line of code given here. Let's start from the first line that is x equal to 10. x equal to 10 means that variable x is pointing to this value 10. So it is a simple variable and this statement is completely legal in Python. Similarly, this statement is also legal. We will not get any error message from this line. Y variable is pointing to this value 20. Similarly, this line is also not illegal. Here, total variable must point to the result of x plus y, which is going to be 30, because variable x is pointing to this value 10 and variable y is pointing to this value 20. So eventually, x will be replaced by 10 and y will be replaced by 20. We will get 30 as a result. So eventually, total is pointing to value 30. Now, if we type this line, print, the total is, this is a string, and then the plus operator, then the total. And as soon as we hit enter, we will get this error message. Type error can only concatenate str not int to str. Now we need to understand why this line is problematic. Here within this print function, we have this string, the total is colon and then we have a white space. This is the entire string and here we are using plus operator to concatenate this string with the result of total. So, we want to concatenate value 30 and this string. Plus operator can be used for concatenation. It can be used for addition, like in this case. It can add two values, like 10 and 20 in this case. But here, it can be used as a concatenation operator because the first operand is a string. Now, the problem is that the first operand is a string, but the second operand is not a string. It is an integer. This is the reason why Python is producing this error. Type error can only concatenate string to string, not integer to string. That is what Python is telling us. So the hint is there within this error message. I hope this is clear. But you might now have this question already that in the last lecture, we have understood the concept of implicit type conversion. And we have understood that implicit type conversion refers to the ability of the Python to convert an object of one type to another when the need persists. Then why it is not the case that Python has converted the type of this object to a string? Let's now try to understand why Python was unable to convert the type of this object to string. Python has not performed the implicit type conversion. The reason is pretty simple. Python will not implicitly convert integer to string as program may crash. This is the only reason. The program may overall crash in this case. Generating an error is not a crash, but if Python implicitly converts an integer to a string, the program may crash. 
As we move ahead, we will see a lot of programs where we will observe that why Python will not perform, in some cases, implicit type conversion. But right now, this is the problem that we need to understand. Python will never implicitly convert integer to string as the program may crash in this case. So, implicit type conversion will never happen in this case. Now, we as a programmers need to take this responsibility of converting the type of this object to integer. And this is what we will learn in this presentation. We are now interested in understanding what is explicit type conversion and how we can use int for explicit type conversion. This is what we will now understand. Let's see what is explicit type conversion using int. Explicit type conversion using int refers to the conversion of object of one type to integer type via programmer's intervention. Explicit type conversion is all about conversion of one type to another type via programmer's intervention. This time programmer is involved. In this case, we are specifically talking about int with parentheses. This means we have a function. This specific function has the ability to convert the object of one type to integer type. So, programmer has to use this int function. Now, let's see the syntax. To the int, we can provide two arguments. The first argument is value, the value that we want to convert. And the second argument is base. We will understand the meaning of base with the help of examples. Right now, we should go to our command prompt and activate the Python interactive shell. Let's type this command x equal to 110 within these single quotes. Hit enter. Now, let's type this command. Type of x. We want to know the type of this variable x. x is currently holding a string. Therefore, the type must be class str. This object belongs to this class str because this object is holding this value which is a string. Therefore, the class must be str. This makes sense. Now let's type this command. int and then x. Within these parentheses, we need to provide value of x. So we can provide the value of x by passing x to this int function. If we hit enter now, we will get this value 110. And you can observe that this value is not quoted within single quotes. This means that this is an integer value. So, int has successfully converted the type of x to integer. If we now, let's say, print the value of x by simply typing x, we will get this value. This was not expected. We must get 110 without single quotes, right? But here we are getting 110 with single quotes. The reason is, we are not storing the result of intx within x. So now we need to write this command, x equal to intx. So not only we are converting the type of x, we are storing the result within x. If we now hit enter, we will not get anything because we are not printing the value of x. But now if we type x, we will get this value 110. So x is holding an integer value now. It is not holding a string. If you want to check the type of x, then you can write type x and you will see class int instead of class str. Okay, because x is now holding an integer value. Now let's type x equal to int and within parentheses, this time we need to provide x and value 2. This represents the base. Here, base is 2, which means that we are asking Python to treat this value as a binary value, not a decimal value. So, if we hit enter now, we will not get anything as we are simply storing the result of intx, 2 within x. Now, if we type x, we will get this value 6. Why is that the case? Because base is 2 
and python will treat this value as a binary value so here if we type x we will get value 6 because python will convert this binary value to its equivalent decimal value we will eventually get the decimal value as a result so this binary value will be converted to its decimal equivalent so base is simply telling python how it should treat the value stored within x now let's type this command type x now we want to know the type of x type of x is integer because right now x is holding an integer value this is the reason why we are getting int here in place of str i hope this concept is completely clear this is how explicit type conversion works especially for int so int has the capability to convert the object of one type to integer type and this is used by the programmer this is explicit type conversion so we have learned the concept of explicit type conversion using int successfully and this means that we are done with this lecture okay friends this is it for now thank you for watching this presentation i'll see you in the next one